Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Uh, 2013 was the year that uh, George Zimmerman was acquitted for second-degree murder of Trayvon Martin for Black Lives Matter. Do you think George Zimmerman lives through the 2020s? You know he's trying to sue. Uh, he's currently Trayvon trying Martin's to sue Trayvon Martin for 120 million dollars. <laughs> I don't think he makes. Yeah, it out I don't of think he was the hill to die on with that whole deal. I think both guys were wrong, and and the, and the black witnesses, you know, you know, said that he basically attacked, uh, you know, Trayvon attacked him. But mm -hmm. the guy's an idiot. Yeah, yeah, and he just keeps guy. acting. And but the Justice Department under Obama ran in, tried to stir it all up, tried to trigger a race war out of it. So just both guys were idiots. I don't think Trayvon deserved to be, you know, shot for whatever. I mean, I'm sure he got pissed off when Zimmerman comes running up to him, like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, mm -hmm. if some guy was following me around and I like. And I'm just like, hey, relax, guy. I would eventually beat the shit out of him, probably, right? Yeah. Any, anybody would. So I don't blame the kid at all. Like, who? I, I don't like when they say, oh, but he was smoking weed or what? He was a fucking teenager. We all do stupid shit when we're teenagers. Anyways, Zimmerman. That is weed makes you go crazy and kill people. Yeah. Well, now the DMT will, will <laughs> definitely stop you from doing that. If they had said the kid you. was actively on DMT, then that would have changed my opinion about that whole situation, maybe. Well, that's why all school children need to be administered DMT before they're castrated. <laughs> yeah. Just to a get little, them used little, to little it. A little great. Elves told me so. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas at home. Merry no, Christmas at home. Here's the big secret. Silicon Valley is taking DMT and other drugs on a routine basis and believe they're talking to aliens. Oh, yeah. There's so a that's book, a fact. Yes. There's a book called yes. Stealing Fire. You ever heard of it? Yeah, and they're all microdosing it's, it's the same uh, author as a guy, I think it was called Finding Superman, Unlocking Human Potential. It's called Stealing Fire. It's actually a really good book, and it talks about- Prometheus um, type stuff. Yeah, yeah. It talks about trying to unlock human potential, and uh, so Sergey Brin and uh, what's his partner's name? Uh, from Google. The Google founders. Yeah, the Google founders took the guy they hired for CEO in, in 2000 or in 2001, whatever year it was, they took him to Burning Man for his interview. That's what they did. Like, it's all detailed, the whole thing in the and book. And they took, they took every drug at Burning Man. They took everything. But let's just be clear. Yeah. That's just the entry level. That's not. Correct. That's like, oh, it's cool. Go go use drugs here. And then it, get, it becomes a laboratory situation later. None of those guys are running the show. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they're technicians and guys that came up with a lot of it, but it's all being directed by DARPA. Oh, yeah. And I'm telling you, man, DARPA, before it was DARPA, you know, the people that own Time Life books <laughs> in the 30s were taking every hallucinogen they could. Oh, These yeah. are cults that are, just like the Bible says, taking pharmacia to talk to the bad guys. Yeah, well, and that's why you read like the Graham Grimoire and all these black magic books. It's like people in castles cutting kids' heads off so that the thing pops up and tells them what to do. And they're taking stuff while they do it.